Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Sunday, August 30th, the feast day of St. Pamachius, uh, who was a close friend of St. Jerome. And I honestly don't know what St. Pamachius is the patron saint of. I just know he was a senator, senator. So we'll find that out here in the reflection or challenge for today. Today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 21 through 27. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. But whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay everyone according to his conduct. Okay, we've got the, the first prediction of the Passion and the conditions of discipleship. Within this dialogue, the initial dialogue with St. Peter, and then Jesus takes it over to his disciples, stemming from that conversation with Peter. Um, and we've heard this conversation before uh, with Peter, you know, where, you know, Peter says, nothing's going to happen to you. Um, God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen. I'm going to protect you. But then Jesus gets on his case. He's like, get behind me, Satan, which is a pretty, you know, that's a, that's a pretty rough uh, comment, uh, you know, kind of attacks Peter, uh, which Jesus does constantly throughout scripture. You know, he challenges people, um, says what needs to be said so that people hear what they need to hear. And uh, this is one of those times with Peter. And you, you kind of wonder sometimes as you dig into scripture, um, sometimes of maybe what is Peter's intention? And that's going to, you know, segue into our challenge today. Um, and in which Peter is heavily concerned for what's going to happen with Jesus. Because keep in mind, Peter has been be, has been with Jesus for, you know, he was with him for three years, and he's been with him on a daily basis. You know, he was the first disciple, and we don't we don't know through Scripture uh, what the intention behind Peter's statement to Jesus was. You know, does Peter truly does Peter truly want to protect Jesus for the sake of protecting Jesus for being his servant? And just following Christ, or is Peter kind of concerned with himself? Where is Peter kind of more concerned with, like, if, if Jesus is going to get killed, and Peter makes this commitment to Jesus that Peter knows that he himself in turn might suffer and get killed, which could be Peter's intent, and maybe that's why Jesus gets mad at him and says, "Get behind me, Satan." Um, and then that also might be why Jesus goes straight into, or in Scripture, the Gospel of Matthew goes straight into the dialogue that Jesus has with his disciples, saying, you must take up your cross. Kind of like confirming once again that if you're truly going to follow me, you have to die for me and take up your cross and just go through that daily grind every single day um, because the world's not going to like it. So that's what the, you know, that's how we could analyze this Scripture maybe. Because um, we don't know the heart of Peter through reading this scripture. We don't know if he's trying to protect Jesus or he's trying to protect himself or a combination of both. So that's going to go, and that's our challenge for today. Whenever people make statements, whenever people make, um, you know, there are certain actions of, you know, we don't have, we don't know the pure intentions of their heart. And we don't know the true rhyme or reason of why they do what they do. Uh, so that's the challenge on, 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 our, on our end. Um, to not make uh, presumptions about what other people might be thinking and why they might be thinking it and what their intentionality is behind it. Um, so, you know, just be open. Maybe have more conversation with that. 
uh, with people whenever you don't know. So, and if you don't, that's fine. Just move on. So that's the challenge. God bless. Have a great Sunday. Keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.